it's hot up here. This was a bad decision. Hi guys. Hi. So, um, I'm already sweating and I've been out here literally three minutes. I could turn on my air, but I don't want to. And I decided that I had not done my I hadn't done my video that I was tagged in um, by Bex of Life with Kids and Cats, so I thought I would do that right now. Um, this is a all about me tag, get to know me tag, 39 questions that I will answer, and then I will tag six people. I'm going to tag six people. They will be down in the description box, okay? I'm not really feeling the best today through Jesus and just through and realizing that everyone is different and not everyone sees life the way that I do and that has been a big thing for me is knowing that people are different and recognizing that I need to accept that and respect that and move on with life and I've been doing pretty well with that. But as some of you know, this weekend coming, um, is my birthday. Yay. No. Trip. They couldn't get the truck in to get it fixed until the 8th, which was yesterday. Um, took the truck in. They called today and said that the insurance company has to send an inspector and it'll be one to two days before the inspector can get there. And then after the inspector, it'll be a couple extra days to get the truck fixed because we're getting the truck fixed no matter what. If insurance doesn't cover it, it better cover it. Um, if insurance doesn't cover it, we're still going to cover it because we have to have the truck. So, yeah, obviously we're not going to pull this camper with the You could probably do it, though. She's a good one. I decided that I'm not going to sit around and just be sad because that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to move on and go on with my life and pretend that everything's good. Um, I bought some stuff at the Dollar General and I thought I would bring it up here. So, I thought I would just go ahead and do this um, tag up here where it's quiet and hot. Let's get on with the question. Question one is do you like blue cheese? No, I do not like blue cheese. Favorite color. Now this is a tricky one. Any given day I have a different favorite color. Um, there is, Today my favorite color would be, you want to guess? Are you, are you guessing? Today my favorite color would be yellow. Since like you had to pick a color you didn't know what it was, I think I would pick black. It matches everything except for brown. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am married. Um, me and John have been married. It'll be 13 years in September. 18 years together. Um, how old are you? I am 30. I will be 31 on the 13th. Are you a good friend? I would like to think so. Um, a good friend. I would, but that's not my place. Say if I am or not. It's my friend. Tattoos, zero. Um, piercings, I have my ears pierced twice. I'm a rebel. Um, nicknames, I tone tone. It's something that he has done for years. Um, and then growing up, my nickname was Pip. Um, can you do a hundred push-ups? In my dreams. But I, no. Mm, sorry. Favorite hobby? That would be reading or Bible journaling. Do you believe in ghosts? My battery's going dead. Wish a ghost would bring me another one up here. Um, but the answer to that, yes. I'm a weirdo, okay? Dovias. Do I have a hobia? I don't know. I'm afraid of most things. Do you wear glasses? No. Um, biggest downfall. <laughs> My biggest downfall, I think, is I love too easily. And it can be damaging. Um, I know that it can be a blessing, and it is a blessing, but it's also... And it can hurt. Um, so yeah, I... I think that's my downfall is that I love too big and I love too hard and too quickly. Um, favorite candy? Anything chocolate. Um, favorite food? All of it. Um, if I had to pick one thing, it would be potatoes. Though I love potatoes. Pepsi or Coke? Definitely not Pepsi. Coke Zero is my, other than Kroger brand soda, Coke Zero is my top. It's number one. So it's technically number two. Um, rain or snow? If I have to pick, I want snow because rain is just, I don't know, blah, you know, but snow is beautiful. So hot dog or cheeseburger, definitely a burger. I don't eat meat right now. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, I don't eat meat right now, but I still enjoy a good burger. Um, I had a grilled black bean burger yesterday and it was delicious. What do you drink in the morning? But coffee, coffee. 
is always good. French fries or onion rings, fries, but I usually want both. Kids? No, I don't want any. Just kidding, most of the time. Um, but I have four. It's gonna always be four, as far as I know, right? Okay, okay, so where was we? I couldn't beat the battery. Where was we at? Um, favorite season, fall. If you know anything about me, which nobody knows this because I started vlogging in January and you've not seen me in November, but I am crazy over pumpkin spice. Like, cause pumpkin spice can be a bit much, but yeah, I love, love pumpkin. And there's just something about fall. To me, it's just like, it's out with the old, you know what I'm saying? And it smells wonderful. It's been so hot that it finally cools off and it's just, it's me. I love fall. Can you sing? Nope. Definitely not. Can you whistle? Mm -mm. No, I can't do that either. I don't know. I don't know why I can't. I've tried. I can't do it. Where were you born? I was born in Hyden, Kentucky. Um, considered the foothills of Kentucky because it's country. Like, you think I'm country, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's country down in there. Um, my whole entire family, country. Um, I'm not from Hyden. And that's just, I guess, the closest hospital to where my mom was. I don't know, but I was born in Hyden, Kentucky. Siblings. I have two sisters. Um, they are both older than me. I'm the baby. Can you tell? Um, yeah. Fun fact, I was supposed to be a boy. That's where my name came from. So now you know. My dad's name is Anthony. He goes by Tony. My name was supposed to be Anthony. But when I popped out, I was a girl and I guess they just like, all right, you still get named after your dad. So I am Tony. Can you cook? Can you cook? I like to think so. Sometimes I forget to start the stove. Sometimes I forget to set the timer. Sometimes stuff comes out burnt, but for the most part, I think I can cook. Um, can you swim? Yes, I can swim. I really like swimming. I used to always say that I loved swimming and oh, it was so great. And then one time John was like, you don't love swimming. And I was like, yes, I do. And then I realized I don't. I like to be in water. I like to be on a float and be in water. But yes, I do like swimming. Um, are you religious? Yes, very much so. Um, I could go on a, a big, huge rant testimony for you there as to why. Um, but I had, I was raised religious um, from a very young age was very much in church and was, you know, grounded in Christianity. Um, my parents fell out of church and I fell out of church along with them, obviously, because I was little. Along came Jonathan. John's parents was very spiritual. Um, and we started going to church with them and that is where I found Christ and um, I'm not gonna cry um, but yes I've it's been a long road it's been a ugly messy beautiful glorious road but I am very religious um, I don't think it comes off enough in my personality and that is something that I have been praying about and something that I've been thinking about because I want people to look at me and know that I I have Christ that you know that I have something extra but yeah long story again I do that okay if you know me you know but yes I am a shower or bath I have not took a bath in five or six years so I shower do you like a big city or nature I like nature but I'm picky about my nature. I want trails. I don't want to be in the woods, see where I'm going, know where I'm headed, know how to get back. So I do like nature. I prefer nature over big cities. Um, whiskey, tequila, or vodka? None. I do not drink. Broken bones. I have never broken a bone. Um, was it this shoulder? One of my shoulders, me and my cousin was riding four-wheeler and I was in the wagon on the back of the four-wheeler and she went over a hump and knocked over the wagon. She didn't know it so she drug me for a while and I I held up my shoulder as long as I could, you know, trying to get her attention, but obviously I couldn't keep it up the whole entire time because I was, it was awkward. Um, so I cracked 
you got a joint that's like this i'm assuming i don't know i ain't a doctor and then you got a ball and your shoulder sits in it well she i cracked this part the, the ball um so i was in a sling but i never actually broke anything there's like how many tvs do you own how many tvs do we have we got one in nolan's room one in jonathan's room our room and the living room four we have four we will be having five because the girls want one in their room and everybody else has one so we're gonna get them one i don't care if you don't like that i don't care worst um, pain ever hmm. the only thing i can think of for that is i have had four c-sections and i have a pretty high tolerance for pain um if i do say so for myself you know but with jonathan i went all the way to 10 i pushed and everything with zero pain medicine um and then he got stuck and we had to go go in for an emergency c-section and then obviously i got medicine you know so um and i can't like i mean obviously they didn't feel the best but i had four voluntary c-sections so i can't say it was like you know terrible so um the only thing i can think of that i would classify as the worst pain ever after i had nolan he was like a week old he was like a week old because he was still super tiny and um, we was going out to get something to eat because i didn't want to cook what mom does when they just came home with a baby right so i was going out to eat and for whatever reason i had forgot that i just had a baby that they had just literally cut him out of me and i had to sneeze and it was i could tell it was one of the really big you know powerful inside you kind of sneezes and so i was just like okay whatever you know whatever and i sneezed oh my goodness it was the worst pain i think that i have ever felt in my life i almost cried i didn't but i almost cried but i literally after i could breathe again looked down my pants and made sure I hadn't ripped myself apart because the pain was so bad that I thought I had ripped something. So maybe it's that way if you have normal births. I don't know. But if you have a C-section, do not sneeze without holding yourself. Okay? You're welcome. Do you like to dance? Yes. I really like to dance. Can I dance? Bonus question. No. Does it stop me? no so if you have to see any of that which i think i've put a little bit in vlogs here and there i'm sorry but i'm not sorry do you like camping i do in a camper in a tent no no the ground is hard people are loud no are you weird most definitely um i'm probably one of the weirdest people you will meet and i'm okay with that hopefully you are too all right guys so um that's gonna be it for this video except for i have to tag six people i was gonna write these people down because i cannot remember stuff so let's see i am going to tag francis from wife stuff laura from small stuff big family ashley from fit busy b Marie from marie love asbury that's only four. I don't even remember who I tagged. Francis, Laura, Ashley, Marie. Okay. And then I'm going to tag Tara from Tara Ruth. And then who is this? Oh, hi. This is Tiffany. I'm going to also tag Tiffany Jetter. Um, so that is my six people. I will put their channels down in the description box. So you can go over and check them out if you want to. Or just so they don't have to watch this whole thing. Because they probably don't want to so um i hope you enjoyed the video and getting to know me a little bit better um so yeah that's gonna be it i have to go get some stuff done and i am feeling better fine by filming this so thank you for the tag backs maybe you knew that i was gonna need this a week ago so um yeah guys that's gonna be it I hope you watched it. I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope everyone is being blessed. And just try to be a good person. Okay? Alright. Do not forget to always show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye guys. Love you.